this is our, you know, kind of our final push for the end of the year. So we have this one. We have one up in Cobb County. We've got uh, one in the Norcross Tucker area. And then we have a three property portfolio in uh, a Douglas. That's really it. I mean, at least here locally, there's some Cushman offices in Carolina. But here in Atlanta, I think we've only got like six or seven deals. So how many buildings are in total? I could believe that's 32 buildings. 32. What is the situation? How do you mean? And Depends next to the office there, uh, there was a run the upstairs. Yes, yes. we'll look at that when we go back. Is it operable? So yes. like there? It is, yes. Is it leased? You know, Greenville um, is the are you kind using it? Yes. For this kind of problem. Yes. Well, they're yes. coin or card? Um, coin. <laughs> the old-fashioned old ones. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it like everybody is just staying away from those? Mid-upper fires? Because of the brand of It's probably like Greenville. Yeah, probably. Greenville, Greenville, Charleston are probably the higher end. Do you lock them up when you go, or are they open 24-7? No, we Columbia, lock everything when we go. But well, highest say somebody market, wants to do laundry, they have to do it major in business, business hours. Business business hours. Yeah. So not middle of the night uh, laundry. Right. They're really not that low. I mean, cap rates, even in the middle of really nowhere, we're still seeing cap rates to be surprisingly low. I mean, just because interest rates are really low, there's no, there's no you separation the system that, that, that you'll get in Atlanta. In the the I saw there is one on the by the office. Yes, so the, the Bell Georgia Center has a camera, and then at the front, the gates have cameras. That's the only view on the other place. Two or three, or are you looking um, at something? I, I think there's a total of 11 cameras. But more mainly by the entrance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Greenville is not in the back. But you do have a security very, uh, right, person. Yeah, that night, yes. that, uh, very, yeah. I guess not the city is urbanizing, but it's, collect, it's, it's, it's getting a younger, more uh, millennial type of profile because people like all the, the, the nightlife and just the activity and things like Canada, Chattanooga, Tennessee. You know, it's got a very diverse. Economy, there's a lot of people. Is it property fenced in? Good school. It is the entire property. Uh, it's fenced. Okay, so yes. a lot of people are just excited. And everything that. around us is uh, single family homes. So you're the only uh, apartment, apartment building in the area? There's like one building up near the office you'll see, and it's probably got like 10 units in it. Yes. Well, we're the only game in town. You have to go about four miles north or, or south to find other communities. Everything around us is single family. There's no other. Uh, in this area, you could go a little further east, probably two miles, two and a half miles, but it's a it's a it's a rougher area of town right. east of here because if you go west of here, it's it's incredible. This this product, the same vintage west of here, is getting rents. Well, it's been renovated, but they're still getting rents that are four hundred dollars higher because of the desirability of that location, kind of that East Atlanta market. Right. So that East Atlanta market is pushing this direction. So we feel that this property really presents itself as the next alternative because, again, there aren't any competitors. We're the only one in town. So if you have something, if you were to renovate this nicely, you could raise rents here probably $200, $225, still be you know, $150 to $200 less than the comps west of here and uh, be the value option. Because that's what people want. People come here hoping to find that same level of renovation and at a discounted price. So we could offer that and that will stay full. And how far is the freeway from here? Is it like Depends. Two miles? So about three, three, uh, so 285 is probably three miles west of here, east of here. Uh, if you turn right out of the property on, on Glenwood, go yes. about three miles, it's, you got 285 is there. If you turn left out of the property and then turn left on Candler Road yes. and go about three miles or so south on Candler, you'll pro you'll hit I-20. So you're about uh, you're about three miles either you know east or south to the to to, to either interstate. I see.
These were all your three and four batteries. So the 2000 were built with the vinyl siding. Yes. The older one had the brick. <clears throat> right, those are the older one with yeah, the brick. Those are the older ones with the brick and the vinyl. Mm -hmm. Or the hardy plank in the breezeway areas. Ooh, this one's the upstairs. Cool. Yeah, we haven't seen that. I have not seen the upstairs. <laughs> I really like this feature, even though I haven't seen it. I know this type that where you got this little private breeze. I like this. This is mm -hmm. cool. Is it a townhome style? No, or just... no, it's because the down, you know, it just it, the exteriors kind of look like a townhouse. Because okay, so the bottom there is another apartment. It's another unit, right? right? So this one just has its private entrance and the private stairs. So it's just a typical flat unit. Michael Myers is here. I know, right? We just got the key. I should put my fingerprints on that. That's probably <laughs> I don't know why it's here. <laughs> it's a nice looking knife, though. Mm, it's black. That does. Mm -hmm. Are you going to change the carpet? Yes. I'm sorry? I said yes. This one will have to be replaced. Yes, okay. I was just curious. So. Yes. What do you usually usually do? should be able to raise rents here. You know, with, if you do nothing, nothing, and you accept as every single resident that currently lives here yeah, comes up for renewal, yeah. that alone will bring your revenue up six percent from, you know, from now until the next year, time next year. If you just renew everybody at full market rate if they've been signing it, you're gonna be six percent higher. And then if you go in and do the renovations um, that we talked about where the comps are, you should be able to raise rents, you know, probably 200 225 If you add washer and dryers to these units, you should be able to get a 